Hello, this is Susan Leventero, and in the spirit of Halloween in October, I thought maybe we would ask Taro um, how to uh, have a ghost encounter. Okay, now I'll give you my tips and tricks, <clears throat> okay, to see uh, spirit and non-physical, and, um, and then so... Um, okay, let's get started. I'm going to be using uh, this postcard from Studio Ghibli. And, um, okay, what else? Okay, I'm going to be using this Colette Baron Reed, The Enchanted Map. Okay, Oracle Cards. Okay, and what else? Okay, perhaps some uh, tarot. Okay, so I think this is called the everyday witch or something like that. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so. <clears throat> I get a sip of my pumpkin coffee this morning. Okay, so. Okay, so I was born in Japan and in Japan, um, you know, there's a lot of scary movies, especially during Obon season, uh, O-B-O-N, and so um, that's like, um, I feel like, you know, really that's what, it, what that is, is when the veil is thinner, okay? So um, anyway, so that, um, it's like honoring the ancestors in Japan. So that month, or that time, there's lots of ghost movies, and Japanese ghost movies are really scary. You've seen some of the Japanese uh, films, uh, and they are kind of creepy, right? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I had an agreement with Spirit that I would not, I did not want to see them. I knew they were there and always around me, but I was like, I, <laughs> I didn't want to see them. Okay, so, um, as, uh, as, because I saw so many scary Japanese movies, really. I used to stay up, and uh, I had a TV in my room, so I would, like, put the towel, you know, down on the crack, and, um, and then, uh, get really close to the TV, because you, we didn't have any of those, uh, ear things and stuff back then, so I would get really close to the TV, and, um, and then listen on a really low level <laughs> the ghost stories i mean at midnight <laughs> all right so um anyway with that said um let's see uh i'll give more tips uh let's see what a tarot and these uh postcards maybe can reveal for us or the this uh enchanted map okay so uh, let's see. So let's start with these studio cards and see what they might say. I am getting my Halloween pumpkin tarot, uh, as said by tonight. So I'll be doing a reading with those too next week. Okay, so I'm getting, if you do go, uh, get a support team, okay? There's power in numbers, okay? So I would, um, I would uh, 
get a group of people and and also it, it for safety purposes too right okay so uh get a group of people together and um and then uh do the seeking okay so let's see what else that's your cheerleader team <laughs> okay all right okay so what i'm getting with this is it's important to <clears throat> clear out your energy Okay, um, you have to kind of uh, see how his eyes are wide-eyed. Okay, so kind of have like this childlike wonder where you have a clean slate and <clears throat> you don't expect to see anything, but you're looking. It's that kind of feeling, okay? All right, and uh, also... Um, I'm getting meditation, okay? So relax, you need to be in the flow and the ease, okay? Because to see the spirit, it's a subtle energy, okay? So, and, uh, so it takes kind of like, you can go out in nature and connect with nature too, I'm picking up, okay? And start connecting it in the daytime see here the difference night and day okay so connect in the daytime okay um, with nature and then that is going to help you see better in the in the um in the night okay let's see what else they have to say Okay, so um, you could do this with a parent or a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, that's what I got. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Um, okay, so the key is uh, bring in your light, right? Okay, so as we... Uh, tune in and start I would do this if you want to see by um, by October you know the end of October I would start uh, spending time every day uh, meditating and uh, setting your intentions and set, setting them uh, sending them out okay knowing your intention of why you want to see the spirit sending that out these are all radio frequencies here. Okay. Mm, okay. So, um, as we connect with these beings, okay, uh, be mindful of uh, honoring them and also um, respecting uh that they are beings too and they also do have um can have uh sensitivity you know um they may not have the scale of emotions that humans do or <clears throat> even that depth of understanding but the potential is there because all things are filled with this one energy and we all have access to that Okay, the other thing I'm picking up is get creative. Okay, see how in the back here there's like a mural? Okay, so whatever you do to get creative, whether it's painting or watercolor or, um, you know, this kind of art or music, whatever you do for creativity to get you in the flow, do that. Okay, and you can start communicating even if you don't see them. Okay, so that's a message there, too. Okay, 
Wonderful. Okay, so now with this card, okay, in Japan, uh, there are masks, okay, that are to scare away uh, the um, kind of the the hangry ghosts <laughs> or uh, yeah the hangry or hungry ghosts right okay now <clears throat> with that said i feel like it's best to understand that uh there are shadows but everything is um is one energy within so uh there is no um some people have contracted to believe in an evil energy okay so then they are going to see that okay so now what i i'm going to say to that is um and then there are the mysteries right of the people who uh or the energies who are in that in-between world okay so with that said um now you have to purify yourself to a degree at least do do that through meditation okay every day and then i feel like you would be ready by like halloween okay um okay and then uh or even sooner okay the key is is to believe in understanding that these material is just uh the substance okay so spirit is everything and everywhere okay so understand that and that way as you release that fear you can connect uh, wholeheartedly with uh, the non-physical okay So that's releasing the idea of evil or bad or duality, good or bad. Releasing that and really coming into your heart wholeheartedly, right? Okay, and not needing, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, see here, uh, there's like some kind of thing here, like a weapon. You don't need anything like that, okay? All right, so uh, just go. Um, <clears throat> with your heart and your subtle energy and of course your common sense okay uh, when you're looking and as you tune in to your energy you will know when to leave or when to stay or what to do okay so that's very important uh, because that is how you stay safe <laughs> When pigs fly. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you have to go with a belief, right? And um, open to the possibilities of seeing it, right? Here's a thumbs up from the pig saying to you, you can see, okay, the non-physical energy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now listen. I never noticed this, but this pig has a third eye here. Okay, so I, you know, your whole body is an eye. Okay, so tune into all your eyes. Okay, and uh, I would do that. Okay, so, okay, and get real light and airy. Okay, with your energy. Okay, that's what I would do. Get as light and free as possible. Release any kind of dense energy and things with duality and stuff like that. So you can fly high in your passion of wanting to uh, connect and either see a ghost or a uh, spirit. Okay. Now. Okay. So here we are here. Let's see what this is. Okay, so for some of you that have had uh, family members cross over to the non-physical and you would like to see <clears throat> family members and things like that, okay, uh, first you have to set your intentions. You have to communicate, practice that, whether you can see them or not, because they can hear you. And... Uh, Mm. Okay, so 
<clears throat> okay, so sometimes holding an object of the deceased person can help you uh, narrow, uh, they're showing me like a narrow band of uh, frequency. Okay, so it can help you kind of tune in and focus on that one energy. Okay because that's, see this right here, that's what they were pointing this out. <clears throat> okay, now, ooh, okay, so this, this is very, oh, this is nice, okay, all right, so it, uh, okay, so, um, the in-between times is when the best time you can see uh, non-physical energy I feel like for me it's all times it's not okay but now how to begin is how I started was looking in the in-between times so that would be like at sunset and sunrise okay and why is that okay I discovered from personal experience the reason why is the lighting Okay, the reason why uh, people aren't seeing them is because they don't have the right lighting. If it's too, they're always there, okay, that's the thing. They're always there, but you can't, uh, let's not use the word can't. Okay, hold on. They are always there in the right lighting, like in sunset and sunrise, you have a greater chance of seeing them. They are more visible. Okay, you can see them due to the lighting. So with that said, uh, what I want to say is, okay, feel your way through it. As you meditate and get in tune with the subtle energies inside you, okay, then, because everything is your universe, okay, so as you tune in to the subtle energies that is you, the universe, then you can see the universe. Okay. So. So. If it's too bright. Then it's going to. It may be harder to see. So you want to have kind of dim lighting. But enough lighting to see. Okay. So that is the clue there. Okay. <clears throat> wow. This is. This is really good. Okay, so um, what I'm getting with is um, connect with the fairies. Okay, so some of you might laugh at fairies. And you remember the Notting Hill girls? I think that's what they're called. Uh, they were laughed at and uh, kind of ridiculed and, and mocked and things like that. It was uh, absolutely horrible. Okay, so... <clears throat> um, with that said, all plants are living beings, okay? And as we're learning, okay, now they have devices like plant wave, okay? So, ooh, that's nice. So maybe if you're seeking, take your plant wave or a sine wave uh, with you, and uh, that could also um, be a point of attraction for non-physical energy because all plants are living beings and you will be surprised to see a little creature okay uh, in the flower and that actually happened to me the other day <laughs> wonderful okay all right, okay, so with this card, I'm getting that moon phases can also help you to see uh, at better times. So as you tune in to your own energy, you will know when these times are. You will be able to feel it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so I feel like this is will be you off on your journey to uh, seek uh, in the electric waters. Okay, connecting with the spirit of all. Very nice. Okay. Your adventure in the electric waters.
Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so now with this card, I'm getting bring plants indoors and start connecting with your plants indoors. And then in those, as you're feeling your uh, heart in the energies within, you will be able to see the plant beings in their fullest. Okay, mirror work too. Okay, so looking into the mirror and connecting with you um, and sending loving messages, okay, can also open up. It's, it's in a subtle loving frequency. Uh, it's like a kind, compassionate frequency. And you have to release all the, the uh, fears and things before you really can see, okay. All right, so then, okay, so as you're out in and about, connect your energy and look around you, be present in your moment, okay? And so, but, um, you know, so um, this is like her looking over the shoulder. So uh, also, uh, you could look in your peripheral vision and see things too. Okay, and the other thing I'm getting here with this guy, okay, is his eyes are closed. So the practice is to uh, start seeing with your heart and moving from that space. Okay, and here's a magic bus. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, um, all right, so you all may get other messages, but I'm giving you my messages. Okay, so to me, this is uh, connecting with the Venus energy. Okay, so the love, okay, and playfulness and fun. Okay. Okay, and move with your passion in this. Okay. So again, this is before you go out, okay, connect. Okay, the, to me, trains are spirit. So before you go out and before you go on any track of energy, connect with spirit and tune in. Okay. Okay, so again, uh, this is, okay, this is the, um, the harmonica and so music is a good way to get in the flow, a gentle, subtle music. Okay. Maybe classical or even, uh, you know, some sort of sounds. Okay. All right. So harmonica and guitar is here. Okay. So now with that said, with the raccoon, again, you're going to have to believe in the positivity of things to really um, get the most out of your experience. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So what I'm getting with raccoon is, um, Okay, so it's like uh, they wash their hands in water. So you could um, um, wash your hands and um, kind of go with that purified energy. Okay, so um, just... Uh, Okay, and um, okay, so see how this belly, this is like the Buddha belly. Okay, so that's like holding in all, all this is like Buddha belly is uh, bringing in the ocean of like uh, all the sadness and uh, like all this uh, negative energy and, and Buddha, um, you know, uh, loves it and gives it compassion. Okay, so the message here is as you're moving out into the field, uh, move with loving compassion, okay? All right. 
And then here you are flying high. Okay, yeah, and that's a message too. Okay, and um, okay, so here is a familiar uh, next to her. Okay, and uh, let's see, am I gonna have to do time? I might have to do part two. Okay, so let's pick, let's see, three cards. Maybe. Let's see if we have time. I'll keep going, okay? Ooh, Ghostlands! Oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> okay. Dragon's Lair. Okay. Sacred Pool. Okay. I'm, I may not have that much time, so I'm going to go quick. Okay. And uh, so I... I might uh, write the the message on the thing if I have time, but I'm going to give you my channel message. Okay, so there are many parallel realities, and you can tap tap into any one of them, but it takes a certain degree of focus. Dragon's Lair. Okay, so remember not to go with uh, negative fire as you go out. Okay, so that's important. Okay, and um, go out with the positive. Okay, passion and love. Okay, and then here's Sacred Pool. Water uh, is uh, a good place to um, uh, see uh, spirits because when they're traveling, they uh, like to... Um, that's why, I like, for example, I have water here. It's like when ancestors come and they want to leave a message for somebody, uh, then they can have a drink of water uh, before they go back to uh, their journey. Okay, so uh, places of water, um, and of course, be careful. Okay, don't get close to the water, but, um, you know... Uh, Okay, so uh, the thing is, um, water can be, see how the spirits are here? Okay, because they come to get a drink. Okay, so um, I leave you with that. And uh, remember to be safe and sound this Halloween. And I leave you in loving light. Thank you.